I'm Charlie Cunha together with coach Ryan Gregorio. Riza Diaz joins us from time to time from courtside. And the first possession of our uh, fourth quarter, there's a foul called on the San Miguel Beerman. Five seconds in here, and uh, out of rhythm lang talaga. nag tayo during the break, uh, and San Miguel just seems to be out of sync. Pero yun na nga, after all of that and how poorly they seem to have played, they're only down by seven. Whoa! Wow! Sakita mo yung approach. Two steps from beyond that free throw line. He wanted to throw that down party. Only one dribble is required for him. That is a testament on how big his uh, strides are. And alam mo, you look at the, itong uh, player na ito, ah, ang makikita mo lang talaga na yung kanyang uh, buong uh, pagkatao, parang pang-NBA talaga eh. Yung injury na lang ang humihinto sa kanya. But the veteran Alex Sabagnot, binawian naman with a three that brought to us by PLDT Homes Evolution, turns your ordinary TV into an internet TV. Ang mga ganyang klaseng play coach, right? yung mga dunk na ganyan, really pumps up your team. Totoo yan. So ito, down to four seconds. Dehesa bumitaw. Yung kumasok ng tres. You know, he's dangerous from there, but unable to hit on that play. Kabagnot, rushing up, leaves it for Lux. Jumper goes in. Malaki Chris up. They get back-to-back -back baskets. Cut the lead down to just four points. 10.48 remaining. San Miguel Beer always... Dangerous can never let down your guard against them. I'm sure Tito Victorero keeps reminding his guys that. At ang maganda ngayon dito dahil uh, maganda yung uh, kanilang stops na nagagawa. Nakakatakbo na sila. Makakakuha sila ng magandang uh, tempo na gusto nila. At ito si Alex Noeles, nagbintis. Ball hits Jason Deutschman bago lumabas. So San Miguel trying to go on some sort of run to close the gap here in the fourth quarter as we turn you over to Risa. Charlie, kitang kita na San Miguel Beerman na hinihinga na nga itong si Enjai. Kaya ang usapan nila led by Alex Cabagnot is to run on transition if they can and score on that. Now, if he's there sa shaded lane, ang sabi ni Alex, don't be afraid, just keep on attacking. Paguri natin siya sa defensa and let's see how much more gas he has left on that 10. Charlie. And Alex doing it on offense as well. Let's score five points for him. Sandwiching another basket. George Arias, you uh, learn it the hard way. You just want to keep uh, your body in front of this guy. Dahil wala naman siya magagawa. He cannot get shots off from uh, the perimeter. Pe penetrate lang talaga itong uh, import na ito. If you want to nitpick the performance of si Enja, you should be disappointed. Dahil six rebounds lang kanya nakuha. Pero other guys are getting the ball. Like this guy, Tiele. Tapos lumetres pa. That's brought to us by PLDT Home Evolution. Turns your ordinary TV into an internet TV. Everyone getting into the act. Oh, at uh, kung makikita mo yung San Miguel, why do they have to double team? Wala pa naman napapakita ng uh, uh, move with the basketball, back to the basket, oh. natalit to si Enjai. And yun, nagkaroon ng opening tuloy si Tiele to think and make his shot from the three point three. Three. So, sanang bawihin ni Alex Cabagnot. Hindi niya naipasok ang tres, pero naklip naman si Nieli Revilla. So, tatlong free throw ang binigay ng ating referees kay Alex Cabagnot. So, you can see, you know, you were, you were talking about it, we were talking about a while ago, this lineup, the five who are in para San Miguel Bimin. Saan sila kukuha ng puntos dyan? Well, Obviously, Alex Cabagnot is one of the options. He has taken it upon himself. Nasana, ang titira rito. He already has uh, nine points here in the fourth quarter. A three, two twos. Tapos ngayon, pasok yung three throws. Tama. Eight na. Three straight uh, free throws here. Only had a total of five at the end of three quarters. Tama ka. Eight points here in the fourth. Thirteen points na. Single-handedly lifting the sagging uh, hopes here of uh, San Miguel because of his uh, offensive sniping. Yeah, let's begin the Navita and the Espina. They were able to get press a while ago. Just trying to make themselves dangerous. That's a miss from Hans Tiel and Lutz. Magkakataon makatabla San Miguel. Baka lumamamba kung maka-3 sila. Reyes is hookshot. Andun si Hans Jelle to intimidate. They Inabot get the ball back. Inabot ng bahagya yun eh. Kaya nag-iba yung trajectory ng bola ron. Here they go once again. Kabagnot momentarily open. Decides to pass it up to Ronald Tubit na hindi naman maka-baseline. Out to JR. Set shot. Parang free throw lang yan. Pinasok na ni JR. Four points here for JR. His primary task really is just to give a little rest to by Junmar Fajardo, but he's been scoring positive and bonus points for Jerry as for his team. Tied at 63. Enjai na sa loob na naman. Hindi na ipasok ang basket. Rare miss for him inside the paint, Coach Ryan. Pero sumabit naman ito si Gabby Espinas. And they'll try Enjai from the line. And you know, look at him holding on to his 
thighs naka naka bend na yung kanyang uh, from the waist no tapos uh, hingal na hingal and uh, let's see if he has the strength to put in these two free throws he has not played uh, competitive basketball for at least 4 months at ngayon uh, makikita mo talaga meron naman siyang uh, flashes of brilliance offensively and defensively and we've been saying it as early as the first quarter yung stamina factor yun ang magdedetermine ng kanyang all around performance here free throws maganda rin yung kanyang oh, touch di ba so maganda itong uh, player na ito ganda nung touch niya talaga oh. at uh, mahalaga diyan Eh, umakyat pa rin yung kalamangan ng uh, Kia. Now stands at 2. Itong si NJ, you know, you look at him when he's taking those free throws. Looks uncannily like the Kembe Mutombo. Oo, oh, yun. Tama. Diba? Kamukha niya talaga eh. He's got that look of a young the Kembe Mutombo. Ito naman si Jet Chang, dire-direcho, binangga ni Alex Cabagnot to stop the pass break. And you know, there is, there has been, we have observed it, frustration on the part of the San Miguel Beerman at several parts of this ball game dahil hindi nga sila maka-execute the way they normally would want to. Chang coming off that screen. Kicks it over to Tiele. Marahin pang oras, 8 seconds to go. Revilla will go in attack and kick to Chang. Sets him up for 3. That's short, rebound. Hindi na tumalon si Enzai but he was able to tap it to a teammate and that offensive rebound, crucial point of the game. Tiele to drive. Mintis tried to keep it alive. Yung effort ni Hans Tiele, you gotta commend that. But still, nothing out of that offense. Lassiter in it. Unable to hit and Gabi Espinas wisely. Dinabas muna. And Alex Cabagnot puts it in. 15 puntos na ito si Alex Cabagnot. Walang import ng San Miguel. Pero ito yung quarter na nakabalik sila at they have a lot uh, of reasons to thank Alex Sampo sa buo ang 15 puntos. Si Alex lamang ang nakascore para rito sa San Miguel. Kung gusto nyo ng uh, mas malaman at mas buong PBA experience, log in lang sa mas pinagandang sports5.ph. Replays of past games behind the scenes footage kasama na dyan ang online kwentong PBA series. Full coverage of games at maraming mga iba. All in HD quality. Huwag na kayo tumingin sa ibang sports sites na de-authorized magpalabas ng PBA. Dito na kayo sa official sports5.ph. So, yan naman. Explosion there for Jet Chang. Parang nakaturbo yung kanyang pag-atake. No? Nakashoot na kagad para sa kanyang kukunan. And that's great coming off oh, the timeout. Oh. Diba para kay Coach Tito Victorero, you're really happy at what your team has done. Tapos nakapag-stop ka pa on this end. Now, a chance to extend that lead. It's just a two-point lead. 6.31 remaining in the game. You know, the thing that we've noticed from the uh, Asian imports that we've seen uh, see action so far, very under control ang mga laro nila. Diba? Very yeah, under control. Oh. Hindi wasted ang movements. May purpose lahat ng kanilang ginagawa. Fundamentally sound, I would like to say. Tama yun. At uh, dalawang bagay ang contribution itong Chang sa kanyang kupunan. Sampung puntos na siya. In terms of basketball, positive ang kanyang contribution. At di lamang yan. Pag nalaman ng mga Taiwanese na ito si Chang naglalaro rin ito, sigurado dudumugin ang PBA. That's really part of the plan of the uh, PBA group to bring in Asian reinforcements para yung mga Syrians. Oh. Palestinian, di ba? Oh. E manood ng PBA. That's right. At ngayon, Taiwanese naman. Para makikita nila yung mga boys nila kung paano oh. mag-perform dito. It's a four-point lead. And look at the confidence they have para bigay sa kanya yung bola at this stage of the ball game. The spin! Hindi ni respeto ang defensa nito si Jun Marfahab doon knowing that he's much quicker. Matter of time, sinasabi natin, he struggled in the first two quarters but you can see he was just waiting to get his rhythm going and now he has it. It looks unstoppable right now, especially in his penetrations and that is the primary reason why he's called Jet because of those turbo boosts. Ganda na pinapakita. No? Six-point lead para sa Kia Carnival. 5.34 na lang nalalabi dito sa ating fourth quarter. Cheer on our girls who have been showing so much heart playing against uh, you know, opponents who are much higher ranked. Ito si Tele. May confidence na rin sa offense. Unable to hit it however. So he have to run back down on defense. We're keeping an eye on Alex Cabagnot who has exploded Oy. dito sa ating fourth quarter. And Dehesa at Arwin Santos nagkasabitan, nagkatulakan ng konti. 
Aldi has a call for the personal pangalawa niya yan. Arwin Santos, you look at his production. Only two points, a reverse layup underneath. That's all he has scored so far for the uh, MVP from two seasons back. Pajardo. Susubok pa rin, gonta rito kay Enzai. He's not out of his position, loses the ball. Throws it away. And the ball will go back to the Kia Carnival. You can see the frustration written all over the face of Jun Mar Fajardo. The things that he usually does because of his height and his strength is non-existent against the defense of uh, Njai. That's quick na quick pa ito si Njai. I like to think Jun Mar Fajardo is quicker than P.J. Ramos. Pero si Njai hindi. Has a check the clock, five to go. Flips it over Junmar Fajardo. Off target, too strong. Reed magdadala ng bola. Kahabulan sa Miguel Beerman. And dito si Junmar Fajardo. was a moving screen running down the court. Unselfish play there for uh, Junmar Fajardo because he had to erase Njai in the scene to give wide open layup for his teammate, Easy Reed. Para he cleared the pass, oh, oh. para kay Easy Reed to makakuha ng basket off the glass. Ito si Jet Chan going inside, looking for the foul, walang pito. Iniwan para kay Reed, Chan was there to bother and he clipped the arm. Ito si Easy Reed, trying to be sneaky with a block from behind. Three free throws, so ibibigay kay Easy. May bahagyang uh, tama dun sa shooting hand. Easy Reed. Usually when you take shots from the outside, you need to get out of it because it's hard to get out of it. 12 points, make it 13 points for AZ Reed and a chance for San Miguel because three free throws will be given to AZ. But unfortunately, he missed the second one. Badly. It's a bad one. It's a bad one. Kabagdot, you know, after producing so much at the fourth quarter, na pagod naren, linabas mo na Chris Ross is in the game. Two out of three, para kay Easy Reed. Dalawa lang ang laman ng Kia Carnival. Still three minutes and 53 seconds remaining. Chang with the ball. Diretso sa basket, kaliwagi namin na wala sa kanyang bola. But his partner, Enjai, leads it up. Just doing enough, it is Enjai. Not really the kind of import who you can go to on the first point of attack, but he does a lot of things coming from the weak side. Ito, pinakitaan tayo ng putback. Hindi ko kanina nga si Eli Revilla, very confident to throw up a shot in the lane. Kasi alam mo, nandiyan si Enjai, ganun din ang ginawa ni Chan. But look at that shot! AZ Reed, not the first time we've seen him do that. Ginagawa niya yan para sa Rain or Shine dati. That's the lead down to just a single point. 3.07 remains. Napakalaking bagay na tira. 17 puntos na itong si AZ Reed. At mas malaking bagay pa ron. Yung isa na lamang. He really put a lot of pressure here on this offensive set of Kia Carnival. Deutschmann goes over to L.A. Revilla. Sam na lang sa shot clock ng Kia Carnival. Revilla the one-handed pass to Deutschmann. Deutschmann will pass it over to Mourinez. Inagaw ni Arwin Santos. Ross up ahead to AZ Reed. No control of the ball yet. Tapos tumingin na patungo ang basket. That happens. Yes, yung sinasabi nga ni Coach Leo, yung patience factor. They just want to, kumbaga, deflate itong ego ng Kia. Pero ang nangyayari, because of that, nawawala sila sa wisho. Nuiles open from three. Wow. That's a massive three-point shot there for Alex Nuiles. What a game this fellow is having. Former Adamson King Falcon. 15 points na para sa kanya. Yun tamat eh. Variety of ways eh. Perimeter, penetration, and now three-pointer. Force turnover, and now they're running. Sayang lang. Yung tira na yun ni Chang. Pero ang ganda nung kanyang tulusok na yun. Easy lead is blocked. Jason Deutschmann. Getting into the face of the import ng SMB. 
Ayun na kay Jun Marambola, goes underneath, wanted to jam but missed it! Nagigil si Jun Mar on that play, 3-0-2, jam doesn't finish! But he's fouled on the way to the hoop and Nuyles, that was a bit scary, ah! Pumagsak sa taas si Iron Castle, that could have been dangerous! Yes, sayang yung tira ni Jun Mar Fajardo na yun eh! Ito makikita natin ha, alam mo, double dribble pa to eh. Oo nga, yun no? So, a little bit of poetic justice there, the referee missed out a double dribble violation. At okay lang, nakalimutan na ng kia yun dahil nagmintis naman ng dunk itong si Jun Mar Fajardo. Tapos nakadraw pa ng foul ito si Chang. You know Chang, you can see he's always thinking. Pag dala niya yung bola, pag penetrate niya, he's looking right, looking left. Naghanap ng kanyang mga kampe, but when they're not there, have the strength to bring it to the hoop. Two free throws, lead has been stretched to six points. And if ever they go on to lose this game, then they would have been the first team to lose twice. To the Kia Carnival, the three doesn't hit the mark. Deutschman taps it over to Enjai. No reason na magmadali itong Kia Carnival. They're up by six points. At, uh... They were able to force that uh, this shot in the, their, the shot clock that they have, which stands at nine uh, seconds right now, is simply on their side. So wise move there for uh, Carl De Hesa at San Miguel, just so pressured in today's game to uh, start this conference on a high note because they were the first team not to advance to the playoffs after winning the previous conference title since 2009. So medyo matagal na. The pass. Not to pick the San Miguel beer, pull up the Irene Santos pathway ahead, but unable to be corralled by the San Miguel beer man. It's tipped out. Ball will stay with them, pero at least maka set up tayo ng Kia Carnival. You just have to appreciate the total team effort of these players from Kia. Nakita ni Noyles, masadong mabagal si NJ because of fatigue. He was there to be the first guy inside the paint for his team to botch that easy. Two points for Judmar Pardo. So, ang mangyayari nito, 20 seconds, they have five guys who can defend. Kaysa naman, easy fast break opportunity for the beer. So, the pass is a little bit higher. Kuha ni Judmar yun, easy layup yun. Baka dakdak pa ang nangyari doon. AZ magi inbound Deutschman watching AZ read. So, Lassiter decides to let fly. No go. Arwin Santos keeps it alive. AC siya naman. So, subok. Di rin niya may pasok. Bakbakan sa rebound. Santos saves to Lassiter. Goes over to Tapagnot. Tumira ng tres. Tatamaan. Yeah, but if there is one guy whom you want the ball, it's definitely in the hands of Alex Cabagnot because Alex has 10 points here out of his 15 or make it 11 out of his 16 points all scored here in the fourth. Tapos, nothing but net ang dalawang na walang free throw. One more remaining. As Deza steps out, Eri Revilla. Pinasok muli ni Coach Chito Victorero. Ronald Tubid will also come in to replace AZ Reed. Kabagnot flawless from the free throw line. Has the lead down to just 378 to 75. But the pass, not a pick ni Ronald Tubid. Perfect timing. They call a timeout and Jet Chang, he knows he made a mistake. Alex Kabagnot, because Alex is just oozing with the uh, heat here in the fourth quarter. Lassiter, let's fly from three. That's the one you were talking about. Doesn't get it on the rebound play. Tinamaan ni Arwin Santos si Alex Doyles. And you know one thing that surprised me? Past couple of times na nag-inbound from the side of San Miguel Beer. Jason Deutschman opting not to approach the inbounder despite being taller than AZ Reed. Hindi niya hinaharas yung inbounder allowing the ball to come in. Uh, yes, at uh, they're just lucky itong uh, Kia because usually coming off uh, the screen, maganda yung uh, accuracy nitong uh, si Marcio Lassiter. Pero at least two situations here coming off uh, the uh, sideline uh, out-of-bounds play. Hindi nakashoot si Marcio as we saw earlier the team governor of uh, Kia, Ma'am Genia. Praying na sana eh makalusot ang kanyang uh, kuponan rito. One out of two lang mula kay Nuyles. Four-point lead para sa Kia Carnival.
40 seconds to go here in the fourth quarter. AJ Reed stolen away by Alex Duilet. Duilet nagmamadali. Will he finish? Yes, wow. he does! And he had to be creative there. He did not really have to go for that shot because the uh, situation is really on their side. They were on a two-possession lead. But still, this is much better. A six-point lead is always better than a four-point lead. Pwede inatrust muna niya, Coach Ryan. Ayun, no? Magsayang muna ng oras. Yes! But look at that. On the pass. The quick hands. And dyan si Alex Noelis. He's done that several times. Tapos, you know what I like after this shot? Awesome as it was. Right hand mula sa left side. The pectus na lang. The way Jeff Chan ran towards Alex Noelis and embraced him. As if he's been on the team for a very long time. Well, actually, both of them are new on this team. Arwin, top of the key three. Bumitao pasok! What a three! Mula kay Arwin Santos. And that was so quick. Just a couple of seconds taken off that clock. Exactly what the doctor ordered para San Miguel Beer. Well, if you're uh, San Miguel, uh, you really want to go for the steal early. If not, do they have to foul right away? Probably not yet. Because if they make a stop, they will have eight seconds remaining to execute the play. Almost a turnover there. Let's see what happens over here. Very nice pass. Almost a turnover. Pero nabuhay ni HD. Yung uh, bola, ang daming pagkakataon ng Kiaron. It was a broken play, but good thing, nakakuha pa ng possession itong si HD. And you know, yung uh, pass ni Eli Rodelia was an awesome pass setting up Alex Duiles. All sorts of contact, no call. Tapos ito si Enjai keeping it alive. Yung uh, energy niya, biglang bumalik dun sa play na yun. Prior to uh, this trip, We've seen him with a steady touch from the free throw area. He was three out of three, make it four out of four. Important, why? Because that basket makes it a two possession advantage for Kia Carnival. And this one will help even more. Swak na swak, sweet touch para sa big guy. Mahilig itong Kia sa mga big guys with soft touch from the line like TJ Ramos. And Kabagnot unable to get it. To take a shot, so AZ Reed will might uh, might have to force it, and that's short. Inakap na lang dito si Carl Dehesa ang bola. It's a jump ball tinawag ni referee Art Herrera. Let fly agad pag makuha nila. At ito makuha ni Arwin Santos, but the time has already started to tick. And if you're Jet Chan, you just stand your ground. San Miguel Beer. Ang imports ng Kia Carnival nagpakita ng gilas. Five point victory for the Kia Carnival here, starting off the Governor's Cup on the right foot.